right, day 12 of the training program. We're uh, getting to the last days here, and the weather this morning looks beautiful. Just a thin layer of wispy fog on the ground, just a couple of feet, and we're uh, excited to get some some flights in. Mm -hmm. And then if you get a 25, you can get your uh, certification, so might as well aim for that. Bye. <laughs> How about this one? Here comes the light, right? Yeah, there he goes. So today the weather is cooperating very nicely. Uh, we actually did a short cross country, meaning you take off and you just fly as a group out to a certain checkpoint and then come back. It was about like a 25 minute flight. Um, today, we're trying out a new or a different setup. So this is the Fly Products Eclipse. It's got a carbon fiber uh, carbon fiber uh, spokes, I guess, and is this aluminum, Woody? Yep. The rest of it? Mm -hmm. Aluminum frame. So you can see it's quite a bit more flexy than the Parajet Maverick, which is titanium. And the um, still has the Atom 80, 80cc single cylinder engine. And the harness is, again, a little different. So the wing, next step up from a Mojo, is a Spider. And the Spider is a B-rated wing, so it's a little faster, quicker to come up, more responsive. And so that was my setup today, and it was beautiful. I loved the feel of it up there. Uh, super light setup, responsive. Um, landed it, sat here for a while, I'm like, all right, let's, let's try to take off again. And the wind direction changed, so now we're going west. And didn't get it on video, but on, on this wing, it has trimmers, and I had them set to right about neutral, but every wing is different, and I've only had one flight on the spider wing, and this takeoff, I ran fast, but didn't quite feel that, you know, when it's starting to lift, starting to lean back, pull some pressure, got off the ground an inch, and then thought, hey, I'm not going fast enough, I'm just going to release the brakes and run some more. Bad idea skidded on the ground and the prop actually kissed the ground right here and took a little chunk of carbon fiber out so kind of a more embarrassing than anything and if you break a prop you can't keep flying which sucks um, but this one uh, the mechanics say is repairable we can touch this up with some epoxy and sand it out so we'll make a little video on that but it just goes to show you know you think, yeah, day four, we got this. You try a little different setup. Not quite familiar with it. The pressures are different, and if you don't follow the protocol exactly and commit, you end up, uh, you know, <laughs> kind of doing stuff like this. So, you know, not too bad, but got the cross country in, and, um, you know, everything's still safe and repairable. But that's the way it goes. It's, it's still a steep learning curve, even on day... I guess this is day 12 of the training. All right, Ross isn't wasting any time here. Taking off the prop. I was here, so why not? Yep. So, a little ch ch <laughs> chip in the, right in the tip there. So the shape is still there. It's just the backside is um, delaminated. So this will make for a good instructional video on how to repair carbon fiber. Let's see how we're... Backside looks almost perfect. Mm -hmm. So the shape is still there. You want to yep. compare it to the other side? Yeah, it's still good. And I looked along the edges to make sure it hasn't delaminated or split the mm -hmm. two halves in together because it is foam filled in the middle. So these are two thin layers of carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not too bad. So let's get the toys out. Do you tell me you've, you've fixed worse? 
I've I've replaced this much of a tip before. Holy cow! So you just yeah. build it up from. <laughs> so you just build, you build it up. It's something called Cubond, which is a carbon fiber powder. Okay. And cyanide, you know, crazy glue, crazy but the really glue. watery stuff, not the regular gel I've stuff. I've seen this. I haven't used it myself. Maybe once. So this is the stuff that works really well for, for carbon fiber. Yeah, you can. It's like twelve bucks for a set, and you get uh, two black bottles and two gray bottles on Amazon. Okay. So what I do is, since we're working on a tip, mm -hmm. you really it's have it's a hard to put stuff this powder on here. I take pa regular packing tape. Okay. And I stick it on the back side, like that, and mm -hmm. that's going to give me a, a place to rest all the powder when I put this on. Okay, makes sense. Yep. So that looks pretty good. I got one little crack there. Yep. Put one. Right. You never, all you do is like hang a drop on the end of this uh -huh. thing. Just get a little drop going. And then let that sit in there. All right, now the powder, all you do is build this up in layers. What I'm doing, okay. I'll take this, shake it to the front. Just tap it out. There's a little bit of a void into the prop, so I'm going to put some on here. Not too much. You don't want to do thicker layer than this will wet through. Mm -hmm. so Makes I'm gonna sense. Tap, I'm going to tap this in so it gets mm -hmm. nice inside. And now I'm going to give it one less set of drops. There's gray and there's black, and the gray pretty much comes out black anyway. Okay, so you just wet the whole thing with... Very, just a couple of drops, and then you just start building it up. Huh, so don't flood it, just flood it. Is this the, the one you brought? Yeah. I, I touched the tip oh, on the second takeoff there. Mine not to be painful. <laughs> it gets super hot, and once in a while, huh. if I build it up, you'll actually see a wisp of smoke come off. I, I saw that, yeah. So it's, it's already getting hard. Oh, it's solid already. Yeah. Holy cow. So that's an instant chemical reaction there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, build it up a little bit bigger than the tip needs to be, and mm -hmm. then you sand it back down. That's really neat. I thought it would be a more difficult process. I'm just just enough that it gets in there. Mm -hmm. and a little more in there. Oh, oh. Round it out. Yep. Right there. That's cool. Yeah. We've had classes where. We broke a number of props, mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't have any extras, so I've actually <laughs> gone from here all the way out. Just yeah. Exactly <laughs> the same thing, just little bit by little bit, and then basically reform a new end of prop. So you need a template, you just use the other half to make sure it's yeah, the same length? Yeah, pretty much. That looks more than needs to be. Well, okay. Actually, one more right there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. And it's dry. So you, that's already workable now? You yep. don't need to let it cure? Or... Nope. That really impressed. <laughs> usually epoxy takes like, oh, you need 24 hours to completely cure. And... So here's, here's what I do is I have a rough file and mm -hmm. I have a finer file and then I have sandpaper. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually put little bit of packing tape on the end of this and this gives a bearing surface and it doesn't let this dig into the nice okay so here it also lets you like run that across and let feel, level feel things the... out yeah now just a quick, quick thing and get it back to normal shape mm -hmm. The other thing, this stuff is the same density as the carbon fiber, so it really doesn't change the weight. Either. Awesome. I wonder how much weight on a prop tip it would take to feel a different feel vibration. Like, uh, we have uh, balancers. I have a, we have a big professional balancer in our other building. Uh -huh. it's, it's a steel rod that goes through here, uh, through the center, and okay. you, it has four bearings on it. You put the steel rod on, and it'll slowly uh -huh. tip back and forth, uh -huh. and it has to sit nice and level.
Oh, static balanced. Yes, yeah, static balanced, and uh, and that's yeah. pretty good. And I used to spend like an hour and a half make sure it's just perfect, and you can l- put a layer of lacquer on it to get a little bit heavier and wow, wow. make it perfect. And I realize that you don't really need that quite. Mm-hmm. That's good, but as long as you let go of one tip and it just slowly moves, you're fine. You, you won't feel that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's on a like a car wheel or a tire. You'll probably start feeling half an ounce. You know, most balance weights are mm-hmm. two ounces or less. But that's a lot more mass than this thing. Yeah, this whole this prop weighs a pound. So, so probably a fraction of a, a gram. You yep. Start feeling it. Oh, this is still really rough, but yeah. So that, that's the so. first. That's the rough file. Yeah. We can start the class in a minute. Mm-hmm. So with the rough file, it looks almost almost done there. I'm drag my finger across that. See. It so basically it's almost there. You can see it, but you, you can almost not feel the the bumps anymore. I wonder if you do this like mountain bike frames. <laughs> you know, sure. A little reinforcement. It depends on where the track is, probably. Yep. And you definitely don't want any little pits in there because the pits will whistle. Huh. Yeah, that's the fastest. Because the tip of this part is doing about 425 miles an hour. Hmm. You don't want to go any faster than that, then you start getting close to making a sonic boom. Wow, wow. That's what makes a loud prop. So the slower <laughs> prop moves, the much quieter it is. Mm-hmm. It's done so a, a larger, slower spinning prop is quieter? Yep. Hmm. My proper uh, filing is okay. sandpaper. Now we're the sandpaper. What grit is this? Uh, I don't know. I just grabbed this. It's P120. 120. Okay, so still pretty coarse. Yeah. And you can go as, as fine as you want and make that sucker yeah, this is, smooth. This is 1500. I'll do that in a second. Oh, wow. Second. I have really light pressure. Yeah. It takes out the material pretty quick with a course. Yep. It's pretty hard. So, it's... Mm-hmm. so the Cubon is probably even harder than the yeah. original. Epoxy. Now I'm doing everything by feel. Right. So once you finish sanding, you're ready to fly again? Yep. Wow, so I thought this was going to be a long-term repair, but I'll try this propeller myself. <laughs> Just because I'm the one who uh, nicked it. Right, final touch. You put a little liquid on it? Yeah. Wet sand. Oh man, it looks pretty much brand new. It's surprising that the colors almost matches. And then you don't paint it or coat it with anything. Um, this you don't need to. Uh, sometimes I'll hit it with clear lacquer. Okay. And I like the lacquer because it dries super super fast. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now the Q-Bond, is it, did you find that experimentally that it worked? No, oh, or it's, there's it's a... made for fiberglass repair. That's oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. There you go. Wow. If, if you close your eyes, you, you can't tell that there's anything there. Maybe just a little on the tip there, but... Wow, that's amazing. That's valuable uh, bonus footage. <laughs> How to repair carbon fiber. to find is your leg so just hit, hit your thigh and then run your hand back and you'll find that reserve and you'll find that handle practice it a couple of times yep and i would say if you're a new pilot and you have that new reserve on there practice it three or four times every single flight until it's automatic muscle memory of uh-huh. where it is up and down that's that red handle yep it's the red handle on there
So it's a reserve pocket, a regular reserve. It's about seven pounds extra on the motor, so it's good. Mm -hmm. Chump it up a little bit. So just for the viewers, this is the simulator reserve toss. We're gonna get into a situation, get all disoriented, and then find the red handle and pull it out, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'll set you up a little scenario. You're gonna have a wing collapse as Mike flies by you in his uh, Cessna. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you just collapse the side of your mojo, something happened and it balls up over your head. Remember, even if the wing balls up, you're not falling at the speed of gravity. You still have resistance on that wing. So you're falling, but you're not falling, just plummeting out of the sky. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna be bouncing around like this. You might spin around. <clears throat> what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna to, uh, find that reserve, and you're gonna wanna, the wing's gonna be above your head spinning around, and you're gonna try to find some clear air. So what I want you to do is I'll spin you, and I want you to pull that reserve. You pull it out, then across your chest, and then toss it. And if you act, you don't just pull it out because you don't have enough momentum. And you'll see when you when you pull that, it's just going to kind of flop out if you do that. You're going to pull it out across your chest and then really toss it out. Hmm. Wing goes by, you're going to spin around. Okay, what's the first thing you do? Uh, <laughs> well, kill your motor. Kill, yeah. You're going to kill the motor. Now you're going to reach down, find that reserve. You're going to pull it out, go across your chest, toss it out. All right, now you're going to grab that wing. You're going to reach up and grab one side of the wing. You're going to pull it all the way in, pull it all the way in. Okay. Once it's already in, you're going to hold on to it, hands inside. You're going to put your feet together, get ready to fall to one side. You're going to come down, you can hit the ground, and you're going to roll off to one side. Okay. There you go. Okay. There's an old vintage tail dragger about to take off. I don't There he goes. And we got a parachuter. A lot of cool stuff going on at this little airport. Here's the map of the actual runways and taxiways. So usually we drive out here, uh, let's see, across, and launch from here since we can go either way, depends on where the wind is going, uh, or we just cross the taxiway right in front of us here, and this is a nice practice area as well. There are the rules. D B A D. Anyone knows what that means? That's right. Don't be a dick. <laughs> be nice to other people. <laughs> 